Hi guys, um, I actually got an idea for a, I don't know if it's really a tutorial, just a little FYI the other day. Um, I've been cleaning out my house, doing packing up stuff, getting rid of stuff for Goodwill, and um, I had to go through all my purses. And I had a closet full of purses in the house, and then I had a tote full of purses in the basement that I haven't used. I don't even remember, I had half of them. Um, but before I sent them, I was gonna I had to clean them out because I am the absolute world's worst. I realized for an organized purse. Um, so, walk you know, going through it, getting some of them, due to my lack of organization and taking care of them, were not even fit for taking to Goodwill, and they just needed to be thrown away. Um, I wanted to avoid that because I like nice purses, and it kind of made me sick to look at some of them that were not cheap purses that I had to throw away. Um, you know, at least I could give them to somebody if they were decent. So, um, you know, I noticed a lot of the problem I had was um, a lot of stuff got spilled in it. There were pen marks all over the inside. Since I am a teacher, I have tons of pens and red pens <laughs> in my purse. So I noticed that there were, you know, a lot of pen marks and pencil marks, um, you know, candy that had gotten stuck to the sides. I had a nail polish accident in the purse. One of my longer burger bags that I had gotten like two days prior to that got ruined with nail polish all on the inside. Um, so I was like I need to, I needed a course in purse organizing 101. Um, you know I have a lot of purses with um, compartments and tons of pockets in them but that's not always a good thing. My problem is when I switch between purses, I don't clean out the purse before it because it's just too much effort. I guess I'm lazy. Um, and I wanted, you know, I end up forgetting things in purses. I get somewhere and I don't have everything I thought I moved over. And I ruin good purses. I love the Vera Bradley bags a lot and I have a bunch of them. And luckily they can be washed, but I've, you know, I get them ruined on the inside. They look nice on the outside, but they're gross on the inside. and that bothers me even though I'm the only one that sees it. So for Christmas, I got, um, my parents got me a Dooney and Burke bag. This one here. And um, it's part of their candy collection, I believe. I don't remember the exact print. Something hearts, because it's got hearts all over it. Um, found this print at one of our stores, um, but they only had like a little, little tiny barrel size, you know, shaped bag. Um, and so my mom found it on Dooney Burke's website, and um, I love the purse to death. And I was like, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to ruin this purse. Um, I love big bags because I carry so much stuff because I do take stuff to school with me, and everything I might possibly need in a day has to fit in my purse. The problem with that is, is trying to find one of those things when everything's mixed together. So. I came up with a little way to just organize my bag, so I'll share it with you guys. Um, you know, they make those little um, those little organizers. That's a little tray with compartments in it with a little handle. It sits in the base of your bag, and you organize your stuff in the pockets. Then when you switch purses, you just pull that out and switch it over. That's a great idea. You know, cute idea. The problem is, um, I carry so much stuff, it doesn't fit in one of those things, and due to being on the run and having a lot of stuff in my bag, you know, if I want a hand lotion, I pull it out of the little tray. I don't take the time to put it back in the tray and try to reorganize it because there was so much stuff in it. It just gets thrown back in and eventually it's back to square one. So, um, while going through my stuff for Goodwill, I realized I had a ton of those little baggies that you get free from who knows what. You know, tons of little cosmetic bags, basically. I had a ton of them. I threw a bunch away that were ruined with makeup dust and stuff, but I had a, you know, a ton of little baggies like this. This one was free for buying something at Bath & Body Works. You get these free all the time at Bath & Body Works. Um, so, you know, got my new purse, which, just FYI here, their candy collection, I don't know if you can really see it very well on the camera, all their zippers are rainbow colored, which I like a lot. Their, um, all the little prongs on the zipper are a different color. A lot of fun. But, as you can see, there's a ton of space in this bag. But, notice my purse is organized. This has actually worked for me, which is why I'm showing you guys, because I'm really good at organizing things, but then I'm not good at keeping up the organization. So, I took a bunch of those bags, 
you know, threw a bunch away, of course, that were ruined, because they were all, most of them were free anyway, um, but I kept some of them, and that's what I used to organize, you know, no fancy organizer, and this worked, seems to work so much better. Um, and as of now, since I'm on break, and I'm not back in school yet, um, I don't have as much stuff in my bag, so one thing I'd recommend when you do get a purse, um, if you may like pockets, I like pockets in a purse. The problem with that is um, I might keep it organized while it's in this purse, but when I'm switching purses, then I end up not moving everything because not all purses have all those pockets. So what I did was um, I do utilize some of the things in the bag. One thing is it's got a big zipper pocket right back here. All I use that for is my MP3 player because I don't have a case for it. Um, I do take the time to take, you know, wrap up my headphones, put it back. Um, in that pocket and take care of it because I don't want to ruin it. Um, other than that, that's all I keep in that pocket. There, this purse has a little cell phone pocket, which I never used those before, especially on the outside of bags. I don't like them because you can lose it really easily. I use this one. Um, really easy. I know where my cell phone's at. Something else that I have in a bunch of bags that I never used because I thought it was dumb, but I use it now a lot, is a key fob on the inside of this purse here it's attached right on the inside it's got a key fob I actually use this I never used it before because I have a uh, fairly large set of keys but um, I wasn't using this on this bag at first and then I still couldn't find my keys even though there's only like three actual separate items in my purse and I don't like that if I'm you know at Walmart late at night by myself going out to the uh, parking lot I actually use the key fob, so that's a really, it's a really good idea. Um, you know, keep, keep your keys somewhere accessible. Then the only other three things I have in my bag. Now I've got a ton of stuff in my bag. The only three items are this bag, this bag, and my little Vera Bradley wallet. Now, I do keep, I keep using this little wallet. I like it a lot. It's got a lot of space in it for being as little as it is. I do have bigger Vera Bradley ones, and then I have a huge Agner wallet. Um, this one fits in my little purses, so that's why I keep it. So that has all the money stuff. Anything like that, receipts. Because receipts tend to clutter up my, my purse a lot, too. I've learned to just throw them away. Um, this baggie. All my school stuff. Pens. Um, hand sanitizer, because being a teacher. Um, you know, little kids are girls have germs. And then my uh, my little pass for the school. Because I found that a lot of times my pens ruin the inside of my purse. They bust, they caps come off, they write on the purse, and uh, I don't like that. And then I can't find it when I need them. So just school stuff in here. Paper clips, pencils, erasers. And then really what takes up the bulk of my purses are anything beauty products. Um, all my lip gloss, female products, um, hand lotion, and mirror. Nail clippers, anything beauty's in here. This is kind of ridiculous and kind of embarrassing. But that's my hand lotion. But all that's lip gloss. All that there is lip gloss as I'm dropping it everywhere. It's kind of embarrassing. But I like my lip gloss. And, um, you know, you're in a bag this size. And that's a relatively small bag compared to a lot of the big totes and stuff. If I'm looking for this lip gloss, I'm never going to find it. I'm going to find everything but this. Throw it on here. And what's nice is it, inside it's not organized. In my bag it's organized. So if I want hand lotion, pull this bag out, got my hand lotion, throw it back in, zip it up, and then this just gets thrown back in the bag. So keep some bag organized. Um, pretty simple, so, you know, if anybody has any better ideas, just post it on here. Um, it's a way to use all those free little baggies that you've got a ton of, a ton of, but your makeup doesn't really fit in them, because I have a really big bag for my makeup. Um, so it's just a little, I don't know, it's actually worked for me, is why, why I put it up here. It might help you out a little bit. Um, as you can see, I've, I mean, it, I got this at Christmas, so it's been a couple weeks, but my bag is still organized. I can find anything, I know where it's at, and um, very easily accessible. So, hope that helps you out. Got any other ideas, let me know. And uh, have a great day.